Hey there guys, and we are here with part 20 of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Nuzlocke. I honestly can't believe it's been 20 episodes already, so I want to take this time to personally thank all of you for support on this series thus far. I really enjoyed the journey, and I really enjoyed hearing some of your own Nuzlocke stories in the comments. But you know what? All sentimentalism aside, we've uh, we've got some work to do. Gish and Gora, they're falling behind level-wise, so we are going to start by fighting some trainers. Let's start with this, uh, this Hex girl that we ignored in the last episode. Now for the most part, I believe the majority of our party is at a pretty good level. We're sitting at level 37 right now. I'm starting to get a little bit concerned when any of our Pokémon starts matching the levels of our opponent's Pokémon. Now, if we were to fight someone else around this point, uh, potentially a rival battle or potentially a Wally battle, uh, you know, maybe fight uh, someone from Team Aqua or Team Magma, would we be in the position where we where we would be okay? I think so. Granted, the majority of our team is currently staying at level 37. We've got some powerful Pokémon in our roster right now. You know, even though Gora is a couple levels behind, she's a pretty massive powerhouse just in herself. Um, the only thing I can really see screwing up our team is maybe some, maybe a Water type Pokémon. You know, I, I guess our PO could. You just knocked off my basic Water. You, you. Yeah, you grub something. I was gonna go for some kind of insult, and then my mind just trailed off. For the most part, I do believe we're in a good position. As far as our party is concerned, there could be something that we might find later. That might hurt us significantly more than I'm expecting, like that punishment did. So lately I've been thinking about you know, how is our team looking towards the Elite Four? Well, let's think about their members. Uh, we're going to quickly heal Gora after that, that punishment that she took. Looking at their members, I don't really have a ton of confidence going against them right now. To start off, we have to deal with Sydney, who uses Dark-type Pokémon. Now, for the most part, Sydney has always been the easiest of the Elite Four members, simply because he tends to start with a Mighty Anna, and that has always allowed me to set... Excuse me? Thankfully, that Covet did not steal my item away. Okay, this thing needs to burn. I didn't mean that literally, but thank you, Gish. Thank you for your support in the matter. Uh, who does not have an item? Uh, let's bring out Silver. I don't want to be sending out a Pokemon and then have it use Bestow. Not Bestow. If it have it use Covet and then steal away my item, that would that would suck a lot. I would feel a little bit more confident if we had some fighting type attacks at our disposal. The Mighty Anna is usually a problem simply because it has Swagger, and that has a tendency of confusing. I bet you couldn't use Fly to get here, can you? Going all the way to Lil to Lil Kofi if we want to be able to fly straight back here in the future. Once you can, it's really convenient. So, this is a feature we unlock later, yes? Interesting. Now, I do know that you can do this with uh, Latias and Latios later on in the game. But it makes me wonder if you can do it with other Pokémon, too. Considering that Latias is currently inside the PC, I'm assuming that the brother Pokémon is the one that carries you around once you complete a certain task later on in the game. That's just my own supposition, though. Could be wrong. Let's see, who else are we going to have to deal with in the Elite Four? Well, we got Phoebe. She's using Ghost-type Pokémon, and we don't really have anyone on our team that can really handle Ghost-types that well. Now we have Dark-type attacks in the form of Bite and Gora, but that's not enough to carry us through the entire battle by itself. On top of that, they're going to be able to use will wisp which is going to burn us, and that's going to de decrease our physical attack strength. Uh, let's go for the Lava Plume. Now, we did capture a Shuppet last time, but that's also not going to be quite enough either. 
since ghost types are also weak to their own typing. So using a ghost type Pokémon is probably not going to be uh, helpful to us when fighting Phoebe later on. So what would help us then? Grumpig, or rather Silver, will eventually be able to learn Shadow Ball. But I don't think that's going to be enough. We're not going to be—I don't think we're going to have enough speed in order to outspeed any of our Pokémon, and, and because we're not getting the stab bonus from Shadow Ball from being a Ghost type Pokémon, it probably won't be enough to take them out. Now, Graham, we could use Calm Mind at some point to build up our, our strength. I do see that uh, Team Aqua member there, but I'm just going to quickly heal up Gish first. Okay, we're moving out to Mount Pyre. We're getting our hands on that orb before Team Magma does. And they completely ignore me. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you for being... Thank you for being dumb. Who else are we going to have to deal with later on? Well, we also have Glacia, who's going to be using Ice-type Pokémon. Now, Gish is a Fire-type Pokémon, yes, but it's not quite enough to carry us. Because because of the ground typing, he's also going to be you know, he's going to be neutral to Ice-type attacks. We're going to go for an Earth Power on that Slay King. Huh. I really want to get rid of that Spinda. So we're going to target Spinda first. I'm going to have Diogo for a Volt Switch, and we're going to switch over to uh, Ricky Mountain. Or potentially Gora for the attack drops. Let's go with Ricky Mountain. Or Yawn. Yawn is fine. I can live with this. Okay then, in that case we will switch out Ricky Mountain before the Yawn takes full effect and he falls asleep. And we'll switch over to Gora, who will get uh, get the Intimidate and drop Slaking's attack strength by one level. So we don't want to go for Lava Plume, we don't want to go for Rocks, not Rocks, like, we don't want to go for Bulldoze because those are area effect attacks and those will hurt our teammates. Now Grant actually could have gone for the Bulldoze, simply because Gora is a fine type Pokemon, but between... Earth Power and Bulldoze, Earth Power seems a much, a much uh, better choice. Ooh, and we even got the special defense drop. Nice! Good job, Gora. Not good, not Gora. Gish! Get your, uh, get your praises correctly. Oh, so much experience. Loving it. Since we are here at the Safari Zone, we might as well come in here and we'll quickly take a see what we can capture. Hello, what have we here? It's the vending machine. I'm gonna be buying things from you in a second here. There's a book called the path, the path of the Safari Zone. It looks long, but do you want to read it? No, thank you. I'm good. That look in your eyes, and that aura flowing about you. You're one of my kind, aren't you? You make all kinds of mischief, right? If so, you'll really like this. Hey, we got the Dream Eater TM. I don't think I'm going to be using that anytime soon. Maybe it's because I was so naughty in the past, but lately I don't feel refreshed when I wake up. Then I taught this to my Pokémon, and now all my bad dreams get eaten up. I feel bad for the Pokémon. Dude, they are eating those. You're going to give your Pokémon a stomach ache. Hello, and welcome to the Safari Zone. Immense is free. Catch all the Pokémon you can. Enjoy yourself with Pokémon for as long as... Really? Wait, seriously, it's free? It's free. It's free, guys. We get a free capture. Okay, rules for my Safari Zone. I get one capture here. I get one encounter. I'm going to ignore that. So I get one encounter in this place. I know I am ignoring that Pikachu, but screw it. I just want like a regular one this time. 
If it runs away, too bad. That's my Pokemon. I am so mad about this right now. I am so mad. I am so mad. I was so looking forward to this area because maybe I could catch like a Rhyhorn or something. And instead, it's another Gloom. I'm so mad right now. Can you tell? I'm a little mad. I'm a little mad about that. Now don't get me wrong, I have nothing against Glooms. Glooms are pretty darn good. But you know, at least, you know, with the one I have inside the box, I can evolve it into a Blossom and still have a different Pokemon. But three of them? Can't really do much with the third one. And I know you can very easily argue that, you know, because it's a Nuzlocke, you should capture the Pokemon just in case. But, do you ever, ever want multiple of the same Pokemon inside your box? Not really. Especially, especially in Auras. Especially in Auras, where you're probably going to have about a million tentacles inside your box because there's so much freaking water all over this damn region. Like, what, do I, what, do I have, what do I have to look forward to now? Eventually, I'm actually going to go look up a catch list for the entire Safari Zone, and I'm going to find out what exactly I could have captured. And it's going to make me so mad. It's probably going to make me so mad. Much like this Lanoon here. Okay, now that I've left my madness aside, aside for just a little bit, what else are we going to have to deal with once we get to the Elite Four? Well, we've got to deal with Drake. He's going to have Dragon-type Pokémon. If we can get a Pokémon that can reliably use an Ice-type attack, you know, preferably Ice Beam or Blizzard. Uh, you know, preferably Ice Beam, because Ice Beam has more accuracy. We might be okay, because a lot of Dragon-types have about four times weakness to Ice-type attacks. By then, I'm hoping that we'll have Dazzling Gleam onto Eren. So, you know, Fairy-type attacks would be helpful for us. But because there's no Fairy-type Pokémon in this game, I imagine it's going to be much, much more difficult to deal with Drake. Now, you know, there's not exactly, like, absolutely no Fairy-types in this game, but they're very rare. The only one that comes to mind just off the top of my head is the um, Marrow and Azuro line. And you know, like that, that is a Pokemon that would really help us out if we managed to catch one. But I believe those po those types of Pokemon tend to live in freshwater. So we would have to get one from... I don't even know where we'd even catch one. I think we've already been to all the areas where we could have potentially captured an Amaro or an Azuro. Now, if memory serves, there should be a department store here somewhere. We're going to quickly heal up. Just in case we run into somebody. Now that I think about it, don't we run into our rival here at some point? I think he comes out of the uh, the Pokemart. I just don't remember if you battle him again or not. Just for good measure, let's move Gish off the front and put Dio there. This will allow us to Volt Switch into whoever we need to uh, have on the field. Just as a precaution. Hmm? Hey, if isn't Keru, did you come to do some shopping too? You know what I'm talking about, the Lily Cove department store. My dad asked me to pick up a few things there. It's not like I'm here to buy dolls or something, right? He's totally here to buy dolls. 
Anyway, it feels like it's been ages since we last ran into each other. How about I battle you, so you can see which one of us is doing a better job raising our Pokémon? Though I think you and I both know who the winner's gonna be. Yeah, it's gonna be me! Oh, I made a good choice! I made a good choice! How was our level- Ooh! Level 37, level 38. We are right on par. Odds are Star is gonna be a lot stronger then. Maybe level 40. This could be hard. We can do this though, we can do this. We took him down last time without any problems whatsoever, he's going down this time. Whale Lord, you fool! The sweep continues! Alright, blaze again. We can handle this. Okay, out of all the Pokemon that we have, who is best for blaze again? Um... Gish, I guess. Gora would work too, because Gora can get Intimidated. Silver would be alright as well, because we have Psybeam and we have Power Jam. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Volt Switch into Gora. Gora will drop his attack by one stage. We can kind of get a rough idea of how much strength he has. Uh, we can go for a Surf. And if need be, we can switch into Silver. I think we'll go with that. Oh wait! Wait, 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 wait! Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I was thinking I should paralyze it somehow. Why did I do that? Paralyze. Yes! Yes! Okay, heart just stopped. We're going for the Volt Switch. If there was ever a time for the paralysis to work in my favor, it was there. It was there. It was definitely there. And we wanted to learn Aqua Tail, but unfortunately we can't learn it because... <clears throat> okay, Breloom. Breloom we can handle. That's my thing. Finish it off, Gora. Hmm, you've raised your team quite a bit. Boy, that stings a bit. I had a head start on you as a Pokemon trainer, but still, I, uh... I'm planning on going home to Little Root. You know how I've been helping out my dad with the Pokedex, and, be and it's becoming quite together pretty recently? So I ought to go home and show it to him. What are you gonna do? If you still if you are still thinking of collecting all the gym badges and taking on the Pokemon League? Of course. Yeah? I guess I'm not surprised. Do your best. You know I'm behind you. Uh did you um I think there's something There's something like sparkling in your bag. It's the same kind of light as the meteor I had. It's the one you showed me at Leverage. Ah, never mind. Just good luck out there. What was he doing looking at my bag? Brandon. Too creepy for me. I feel good. I feel pretty good about this. 
I think, considering that we were able to handle him pretty handedly, I guess we're on. I guess we're on par. We're on par of where we should be. But first things first, we're getting rid of that freaking rock smash. I really don't understand the reason why they felt the absolute need to make Rock Smash an HM. I mean, seriously guys, you couldn't have just made one extra TM or something like that? To put secret power in? But no. No. They decided it would be a good idea to make an HM so that you can't forget it. You can never forget Rock Smash. So what kind of move do we want to give back to Gora? Uh, probably Bulldoze. Secret Power would actually be pretty good too. 70 base power plus has a 30% chance of prowess on a neutral field. Um, Facade wouldn't be bad either. Can't learn Rock Tomb. I think we'll go with Bulldoze. Now, I could teach Bulldoze to Silver too, but Silver has pretty terrible physical attack strength. We're going to be focusing on using special attacks with Silver as much as possible. For the most part, I think Silver's moveset is pretty much solid right now. I don't think I even need to really change it at all. The only move I might give it is Shadow Ball. Now, the item in interest... Mind you, there's actually multiple items in I have interest for right now. Uh, we need Pokeballs. And we need TMs. So which floors do I go to for that? Trainer Zone, Battle Collection, TM Corner, and... I read something about a raffle. Lottery Corner. I think this is the same as all the other lotteries. This is the Pokemon Lottery Corner. All visitors shopping at our department store get to draw a Pokemon Lotto Ticket. If the Lotto Ticket's number matches the ID of your Pokemon, you'll receive a fabulous gift, which I'll try it. You might as well. No matches. Okay. I believe if you actually get a match, if you manage to successfully match every single number, you get a Master Ball. But that's pretty unlikely. So you have all the normal items. I am more interested in Pokeballs. Which you do not have. Okay. I guess I'll have to go back to a specialized Pokemark for that. Uh, this one, I believe, is going to be your battle item, so X speeds and... Yeah. And your potions, and not your potions, your proteins, your irons, your EV grazing items. And you are selling Fire Blast, Thunder, Blizzard, Focus Blast, ooh, Stone Edge. Stone Edge is pretty good. I will probably buy that. Hyper Beam and Giga Impact. And you are selling Protect, Safeguard, Reflect, and Light Screen. Reflect and Light Screen are pretty good. They're very handy for decreasing uh, your opponent's attack strength in the form of a barrier. The problem is I don't think enough of my Pokemon can learn it. I'm pretty sure Plusle can learn Light Screen. I'm pretty sure Grumpy can too. For the time being, let's just pick up the Stone Edge attack. Focus Blast is pretty appealing too, but it only has 70 base accuracy. Thunder, Fire Blast. Fire Blast would be pretty good for Gish too. But I think I like Lava Plume better. I could replace Bulldoze in exchange for Fire Blast, though. And that would give Gish a much more powerful attack. Currently, what does Ricky Mountain have? Stone Edge, not Stone Edge, he has Smackdown, Power Punch... No. Smackdown, Bulldoze, Stone Edge, not Stone Edge, uh, Stealth Rocks, and... Rock Polish. Rock Polish has been handy in setting up sweeps. So I don't want to get rid of that. 
Stealth Box is pretty decent too, although I don't think we're going to be having any use for it anytime soon. The next two gems are going to be Psychic and Water. So we'll buy, we'll buy it for now. And uh, we're going to have to work on our monetary standing here a little bit. So we can get rid of some pearls. Uh, Stardust, don't need that. Star Piece. And two nuggets. So I think we'll also pick up the uh, light screen and reflect teams right now. We'll have to work for the rest of them. The remainder of the money, we will dedicate that to buying, uh, buying items. So this is for secret bases, I don't need anything here. Welcome, welcome, what timing? We're holding our clearance sale. So what do you have? Oh, this is all stuff for the... This is all stuff for the... Secret bases, so I'm not interested in any of that. Okay, well, you know in the next episode, we are going to head on over to Mount Pyre. We are going to stop Team Aqua from whatever it is they're doing up there. I don't know, they're going up a mountain. What do you want from me? And in between episodes, I'm going to sit here and buy a large quantity of all these fresh waters and all these, uh, you know, canned beverages that magically heal Pokemon when I give them to him. If you enjoyed this episode, the best way to support this series and this channel is to leave a like or a comment. And for more Pokemon Alpha Sapphire content, hit that subscribe button. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching this, and I hope to see you next time.